Weather's cooling down. That means many people are talking and thinking flu, seasonal, and H1N1 shot versus nasal spray. When will they be here and who needs that shot? Joining us this morning to help sort it out is Dr. Caitlin Tanner and the Director of Pharmacy at ABQ Health Partners. Good morning. I want to thank you so much for joining us. I was like madly trying to take off my jacket because we're going to give me a shot here in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and ask a few questions about this year's shot. Now, is, are people going to need a series of shots with this? Um, only if they're under 10 years old. So um, we're, they're going to need to get the seasonal flu shot and also another shot for the H1N1 because they are different viruses. Okay, so for children with the H1N1, are they going to need two shots? Yes. Okay, so what will that, how far apart and... and About a month. And that's for children under 10. That's correct. Now, the H1N1, when will that be available? Late October is what we're expecting. Okay. Right now, folks can get their regular flu shot. That's right. Now, the, another thing that I've heard about is this nasal administration of mm -hmm. the vaccination. What is that? Does it exist? Is it as good as the other shot? It's just as good as the shot, uh, and it does exist, and it's, it's effective, and it's typically used in children, and it's, it's more of, of drops, as you can see there. Okay, so it is as effective. Now, will they need two doses of that in the H1N1 as well? I believe so. Okay. All right. Very good. So folks can go in and get their regular flu shot now. Correct. End of October, H1N1 will be available, right? Yes. Okay, and then for kids under 10, they need to get a second one. That's correct. All right. And are you real confident in the effectiveness of this H1N1? Um, I am. They haven't had a long time to test it, but they've been testing it since last spring. So we do the best with what we've got. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Give me the shot here. I, I'm, I'm the more excited about that lollipop. <laughs> now, actually, if you're, if you're right-handed, you should get this in the left arm. Is that correct? Well, it might be a little sore, so whichever arm you're more comfortable with, um, okay. having a little bit of soreness. All right. And I don't mind shots, so I'm not going to pass out. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, um, so, now there's also been talk about a shortage. With the H1N1, that's a possibility. Uh, with the seasonal flu vaccine, there is no expected shortage this year. All right. And you can get those all over the place. You can get them at different pharmacies, you can get them at your docks. Are they going to have, is there going to be a drive-through this year like there has in the past? ABQ Health Partners is not having a drive-through, but we do have some walk-in clinics. Um, there's one scheduled for this Saturday, October 3rd at the Rio Bravo Clinic just west of I-25 and that's from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Oh, very good. So. And how much will the shots be at that? Um, they are $25 without insurance, but many, many insurance plans cover the cost. It depends on your coverage. Okay, well, so let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's see if we thing. can roll this up. Even further. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, Is that so far enough? Yep, and you want to relax. I don't know if I can relax. Oh, but you have to. <laughs> I'm relaxing it's now. So Take a deep easier. breath. Okay, I'm not going to cry. No, you're not. Okay. Okay, just relax. Ow. Oh, I didn't even feel it. They use a really fine needle on this. It's not like, oh, I didn't feel a thing. Is it done? It's all done. All right. I feel better already. Maybe I can give you a I want my sucker. Band-Aid. <laughs> okay, we'll get the Band-Aid over the break here. I'm going to get my sucker That's for being right. such you a good so kid. That's right. You are so good. Go. It's a green apple. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, and that is you. Dr. Tanner.